The Fairmont San Francisco is hosting the third annual Women of Legacy Conference, where five women are honored for their courageous efforts and positive contributions in the lives of women and society. For its third year in a row, Powerful Women International awarded five women with the Women of Legacy Award. And what Donna is doing is healing the planet through her music. The founder of Powerful Women International, Valerie Bocage, said she looked for the values of courage, being authentic, and having compassion when deciding who to give the award to. One being keynote speaker, Laurel Bellows. I really had a great time with her. She's the president of um, the American Boy Association, and she's working on stopping human trafficking. So that's why we had her here and awarded her. Bello sat down with us for an exclusive interview where she speaks about her efforts towards stopping human trafficking. Most Americans, every American that I talk to, doesn't know that we have slavery in this country. Over 100,000, quite a bit more we think, but no less than 100,000 U.S. citizens, slaves in our country. That doesn't count the tens of thousands that we can't count of people who are trafficked into our country across the borders and held against their will for prostitution or labor. Several guests who attended the event, including Amrika Tucker, were emotionally struck by Bellows' keynote speech. You know, our keynote speaker, Laurel Bellows, was amazing. Her, um, you know, her passion project is involved in anti-human trafficking, and she had some really just amazing information to share, just very eye-opening, um, brought tears. Bellows continues to raise awareness on social issues and be an inspiration to women that fight for justice. Women of Legacy awardee Donna Sturring spoke about the role music has played in her life. Sturring was recognized for her efforts helping to preserve music genres around the globe. And then a third group would come up and I'd say, who are you and what do you want? And they'd say, we're the musicians and we're giving up. We have instruments in our villages that nobody alive knows how to play. And it's the first time in our known culture's history that this has happened. And I said, well, why is it happening now? And they'd say, ironically, because of global media. Storing founded the organization Listen for Life 15 years ago. It provides an outlet for musicians to upload music and musical programming content. According to Staring, it has reached over 9 million people in 55 countries since it started. We hope that those young musicians, or musicians of any age, that have a particular gift musically or a particular skill or talent in their style or culture of music will come to Listen for Life, which is listenforlife.org, and will contact us and will say, can you help me you know, get this out into the world? And we're constantly on the lookout for major talents that are deserving of being shared with the world. Another awardee, Sahar Kardahi, also wants to leave a legacy and connects it to her heritage. And I know there is a reason that I was born as a Palestinian. And my legacy is to invite Israelis and Palestinians to come together so they're able to empower, inspire each other and give each other the gift of acceptance and leave all the war and all the hatred beside of the side and think of each other as humans. How can we honor each other's choices? How are we able to come together in collaboration and make this world a better place, not just for us, but for our children as well. That's what I want to leave here as a legacy. Accomplished coach and speaker Darlene Wilman was honored when she heard the news she'd be a part of this year's Women of Legacy Awards. Wilman has used her innate gifts to launch Accomplished Magazine, which is a publication that hopes to inspire people to reach any and all goals. One of Wilman's goals is to leave a mark that will pass on to her family for generations to come. I think a legacy is really built around your, your life purpose. So the things that you create, what you do, what you leave behind, you know, how people remember you. And, um, you know, for me, I, I'm leaving it behind for my family, you know, for my children. So each company that I create and I launch, my children will be able to take over and do something with, whether they you know, want to run it or sell it or whatever, but it's, it's just something that I can leave my mark and you know, basically tell people that I'm here and this is what I'm offering and you know, I'm providing those resources if they want to come get them. Powerful Women International founder Valerie Bocage started the organization 14 months after Hurricane Katrina. Bocage lost everything, including her home. Despite her dire situation, she was determined to turn her negative experience into a positive one. I did not want to be stopped by circumstances, and I didn't want other women to be stopped, especially women catalysts, women leaders. 
because I believe that through women leaders using their innate gifts and connecting to the communities that call to their heart, we can change the world. And that's what I wanted to do, bringing up our children in a better world. And though this year's conference has come to a close, Powerful Women International hopes these women's lives will continue to inspire everyone to achieve their dreams. For more information about becoming a member of Powerful Women International, go to PowerfulWomenIntl.com. Reporting from San Francisco, Chanel Bujadam, Dia TV. That's all for this week's Dia TV Spotlight. To catch more, log on to YouTube.com slash USA. And if you have an event that needs to be covered, send us an email at spotlight at theatvinc.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, right here on Thea TV.